So for this video, our instructions say to use the remainder theorem and synthetic division to find f of k, where k is equal to 1 half, and f of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 7x squared plus 5x minus 3. Okay, so using the remainder theorem and synthetic division, so essentially we're just evaluating in this problem. Okay, they're giving us that k is equal to 1 half, they gave us this function right here, Technically, a different way to do this problem is we could just find f of 1 half and plug in 1 half for x and simplify and get an answer there. Okay. There's a, a secondary way that we can do this using the remainder theorem and synthetic division. So the remainder theorem essentially says that we can do synthetic division with this function here. And what we get in that last spot where we're typically wanting to get a zero whenever we're finding zeros, that is actually going to be the value of our function at a given point. So, so let's just jump straight into uh, the synthetic division so we can see what we're talking about. So we're going to use the point one half is what we're going to test. And we're using synthetic division, so that means we're taking the coefficients of our function. So we're going to take four, negative 7, 5, and negative 3. And we're going to do synthetic division with this. And what we get down over here in this last spot over here, that's actually going to be the value of our function at the point 1 half. That's what the remainder theorem tells us. All right, so let's go ahead and do synthetic division here. So dropping down 4, all right, we do 4 times 1 half. 4 times a half is 2. Negative 7 plus 2 gives us a negative 5. Then we do negative 5 times a half gives us negative 5 halves. Then we need to add 5 plus a negative 5 halves, right? So if you want to, uh, we can do that addition off over here to the side just real quickly here. Get common denominators of a 2, so we get 10 halves plus negative 5 over 2, and when we add that together, we get a positive 5 halves. When we do 5 halves times 1 half, that turns into a 5 fourths. So what we get when we add this together is going to be the value of our function at 1 half. So we need to do a negative 3 plus 5 fourths. Common denominators would be a 4. So that gives us a negative 12 over 4 plus 5 fourths. And when we add this together, we get negative 7 fourths. And that's what would actually be the value of our function. So this says, what this is actually meaning here, it says that if we take f of 1 half, we're going to get negative 7 fourths. If we plugged in 1 half into x and simplified our function, the answer we would get is a negative 7 fourths is what this is telling us. Otherwise, that's it for this video.